Good evening to one and all. Welcome to the third evening of Detox presented by ISTE TKMCE. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the four years of college life? After all the hustle and bustle of BTEC, there is a whole new world out there waiting for you with a wide range of opportunities. From placements to career scopes, life in the outside world may be strange to most of us. But today, we have a luminary with us who can enlighten us about what comes after BTEC. Let's welcome Mr. Rijo Jacob Thomas, an assistant professor in the mechanical department of TKMCE, to give us a sneak peek into the future. At the end of the talk, there will be an interactive session where you can clear your doubts with Sir. You may either type your queries in the Meet chat box or you may unmute to ask. Sir, please do begin. Thank you, Manal. Uh, I hope I am audible and uh, uh, clear. Yes, sir, you are. Right. Thank you. So, uh, I have a small presentation to show. So, as I try to present it now. I hope it is visible to you. Yes, sir, it's visible. Right. Uh, um, let me uh, uh, congratulate uh, IST TKMC students chapter to uh, um, do a program uh, which is which I think which is very important for all our students. Uh, generally, uh, our students think about uh, what after BTEC at the end of BTEC. So. Uh, and there are some uh, eventual consequence or I should say some uh, permanent damage which has already been created and maybe they are in a point where uh, uh, things are uh, not that easy to come back and all. So uh, it's, it's, it's good that you know you are uh, uh, taking up these sort of uh, useful lecture series. Uh, let, uh, let me uh, thank the, uh, the all the organizers and the, and the team behind it uh, for doing such wonderful talks. And also, uh, thank you for inviting me. So, uh, today I'll be talking uh, as uh, based on my experience at uh, the Career Guidance and Placement Unit of TKMC uh, from 2013 onwards. Uh, so, what I have seen and what uh, I have felt is the uh, is the one which I'm going to talk today about, uh, and to an extent, uh, I'll try to your answer your queries. Uh, <clears throat> so it's what after Bidak. Now the outline of uh, my presentation will be like this. Uh, the first part, in fact, uh, the major part of it will be something called the ground reality. Uh, where we stand and things like that. Then uh, uh, I'll be talking about the options, uh, general options that we have after completing a BTEC degree program. Then what can be the plans that we can have uh, for uh, accomplishing some of those options. And finally, what are the actions expected out of it? So. Uh, this is uh, uh, an outline of what uh, we will be going through in another 40-45 minutes. Now, let's start with the ground reality. Uh, this is a question uh, probably you all have faced. Okay, from the time when you have uh, joined uh, engineering, people would have asked you why you have joined engineering. You know, uh, because there are a lot of engineering institutes and you know that there are uh, engineers you know, after completing you know there are a lot of them with uh, are not having a job and uh, and there are a lot of uh, what you call negative things being said i don't know uh, whether uh, you have come across uh, people have asked me you know uh, and uh, but i have a very different opinion i have a very different opinion I think engineering is one of the best options that uh, any student can have 
uh, provided he has some talent and inclination towards engineering okay now why i will tell you one by one i have got three or four reasons for saying that okay uh, this is a pictorial representation of uh, when you are choosing engineering or engineering chooses you, you know there will be a lot of people who will be asking why engineering you know so the first point i have is about the growth okay when compared to any other field let us consider the growth of engineering uh, and from the primitive man who was in the stone age to the technology was tools and all that time then from uh, iron tools we went from the stone based tools we went to iron tools and you know we have progressed a lot uh, maybe this is our generation and this is probably your generation and now it is uh, another you know 10 15 years uh, it will be robots fully robots if you type in google uh, to buy some robots uh, there are a plenty of them you know available for sale different types which does different types of jobs and uh, the way in which the technology is growing it's it's it's, it's unimaginable you know uh, maybe another 50 years of time uh, what will happen uh, god knows okay so that is the rate at which uh, technology is growing let's see what happens with the industry okay uh, i'm sure that you have heard about industry 4.0 okay industry 4.0 industry 4.0 because it is saying 4.0 because there is something called 1.0 2.0 and all let's start with 1.0 this is basically the time when uh, people started uh, mass manufacturing you know like uh, mechanizations you know earlier people uh, didn't have much machines and all so it was in 17th century 1750s and all industrial revolution and all which came and as a result a lot of mechanization happened okay and that is uh, which is industry 1.0 now after that maybe a, a hundred years uh, uh, with hundred years plus hundred years 1870 um, we went into uh, assembly scale production that means there will be huge rate of production in which okay there is some time production and that is something called industry 2.0 now from 2.0 to 3.0 again it took another 100 years 1970s and all we had computers computers coming into these assembly lines and all so where uh, uh, some of the things are actually automated okay like moving of things and you know there can be some robot small robot doing this and that so that is uh, nothing but uh, the the industry 3.0 now, when we're talking about, you will find that majority of the industries that we see is currently in uh, industry 3.0 and planning to move to industry 4.0. So industry 4.0 is the uh, uh, the latest one, which has got a uh, fully controlled system. For example, there can be a plan without any human intervention. Okay, um, MRF is planning to have such a plan in Gujarat where you know you don't really uh, need any people there so uh, there was in industry 3.0 there was something called a control room and all so there in the control room people were in control okay they will be seeing the values the gauges and all and accordingly they will be moving uh, uh, knobs and all and uh, controlling the thing now that control room concept is totally taken care by computers okay so you need not have any uh, intervention there unless there is some maintenance or something uh, happens which is not expected okay so that is something called industry 4.0 and industry 4.3.0 to 4.0 it hardly took uh, 50 years or so so the industry is also changing uh, very fast now why it is good for you this is good because people can't manage the show with the existing people they need new blood they need people with uh, new understanding, new tools, new skills based on what is, for example, if it is 4.0, then a lot of IoT and things like that are coming. Artificial intelligence, you know, uh, so all these things are, and that is not, uh, can be managed with the existing people unless they are trained. So companies have to look for 
new people they need to recruit new people and all right so that is the way in which the industry has been moving so i was talking about the growth so the growth factor is really good for engineering second thing is i find engineering is a global degree global degree means it is a globally accepted degree than any other degree okay one because of uh, the advantage of four year uh, program you will find that most of our uh, degree courses are uh, three years courses so the engineering is one of the few courses that is uh, that lasts for four years and majority of our software jobs came to engineers because of this four year advantage uh, you know that these software companies have got clients from outside from europe us and you know foreign countries where uh, these um, these degree programs are generally four years so if you want to have a higher rate of billing for employees then you need to show that these uh, people are uh, completed their bachelor's four years program and that's why all these software companies wanted to recruit uh, engineering graduates so that is something which makes us a little global as uh, compared to other degree programs around the world second thing you see is that uh, our syllabus engineering syllabus is inherently multidisciplinary uh, for example if i take mechanical engineering syllabus uh, you can see that there are parts of civil engineering there are parts of uh, electrical engineering uh, we need to know programming and all you know that is part of computer science so you can see that it is inherently and we are fine with that uh, uh, different uh, you know uh, the, the 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 wide uh, way in which we we spread our syllabus okay we are not uh, alienated to such a concept so and that is uh, true for all branches so that actually makes us a uh, uh, little versatile for different areas so that is unlike you take any medicine or you know law or you know we we not be going in that uh, multifaceted way So, and because of that reason you will find that many other professions ask engineering as the basic degree uh, for their profession okay maybe you know you can say as an environmentalist you know they ask engineering as the basic degree financial analyst because there are a lot of mathematical tools that we learn that the analytical skill and all that we have help us to work as financial analysts or you can also think as data analyst and now all those professions actually demands engineering as a basic degree the fourth thing is you will find that engineering uh, once you complete engineering and you go to a country uh, generally they don't ask for any equivalency you know if you are a doctor then if you are going to europe or us or you know such countries then you have to write some exam or you may have to do a course there to show that you are uh, equally capable and you are knowledgeable so that things are not uh, required in uh, in in case of engineering okay and uh, the final point why it is a global degree because uh, we are generally technology friendly people technology friendly people or you know we love to use uh, new technology for instance when this lockdown situations and all came then we were happy to switch over to online mode of education than any other field Uh, let's say if it is an mba or you know or nursing course or you know so other people uh, we then that actually helped us you know that actually helped us to go with the new technology and you know we are happy to uh, test new things so that is another thing which makes us more versatile so this for these reasons i say it is a global degree so the growth uh, engineering as such is a global degree third one is let us see the demand okay Uh, generally uh, uh, we will uh, we will hear that you know there is less demand for engineers but the statistics the data uh, is is something which is different which i wanted you to see that uh, this is a graph which shows um uh, the the talent shortage the talent shortage uh, around the globe okay so this is a outlook survey by 2018 uh, the the blue color one is the least difficulty one like china and all you can see that there is uh, not much problems regarding the talent uh, the below average one you know below average difficulty is something in canada and all you can see and this is uh, brazil and all it's fine 
now you should see the red color one red color one is the most difficult one or the places where it is really difficult to get the right talent okay so you will amaze to see that india is one such and that is true when working with the uh, career guidance and placement unit of tkm college we generally get the comments from the company people that you know uh, that we are not getting the right people you know uh, we have a lot of positions but we are not able to attract the right talent to us so that is the general uh, comment that we get from industry so india as such you know you can see some part of europe and above average difficult you can see us uh, there is a lot of demand so this is something in a global picture that we see now again in your latest one this is a manpower group uh, survey it is in 2020 which talks about the labor market uh, requirement it's a forecast which has been made so they have interviewed almost 34000 employees employers in 43 countries okay so you can see that you know all major countries are there with a plus growth okay japan which is 11 percent in india is five percent five percent growth means a huge growth okay so all uh, major countries have big requirements in terms of uh, labor now let us take the profession let us take what happens to engineering as such engineering as such uh, this uh, is a survey which is uh, done in uh, europe the blue color ones are europe then we are north america south america asia oceania and all so you will see that the professions which are given in the software engineer, electronics engineer, mechanical engineer, civil engineer, electrical engineer, engineering managers, they have almost all engineering, major engineering groups here. Uh, we also have, you know, nurses and doctors, uh, you know, psychologists, accountants and all sales executives also comes over there. But you can see majority of them are engineering professions. Okay. Uh, this is about the profession. Now, what is the, the the difficulty for the company in filling this up, this these provisions? Okay, especially engineering. You see that uh, the first thing is something about sixty percent. That is for electrical. Then comes come computer science, mechanical. Uh, then you know you have material science, chemical engineering. So this is a survey done by study done by Deloitte in two thousand nineteen. So all major uh, you know positions are for engineers. So the company says that we are not getting good electrical engineers or computer engineers or mechanical engineers or you know chemical engineers and such all right so if you see these ones you know i would suggest you to go through this report uh, brought out by world economic forum in 2018 which is called the, the future the future of jobs report the future of jobs report uh, this actually gives a very good insight about what is that which is happening okay and you will feel that you know there is a huge requirement for engineers worldwide and not only worldwide you will see that india is one of the fastest growing economies and within india also we need large number of uh, engineers so that is about the demand now the last point i have why engineering is a great profession is about the great decision why it is a great decision first is it is a low lying fruit you know that as compared to any other profession you know studying engineering and was comparatively easier uh, which i always feel and many of you will agree with me uh, because uh, it, it, you can see things and you know you can uh, uh, you can have a visualization of things and other things and you know so you can do something with your hand and you know so it in the effort wise and all which you see it is comparatively a low lying fruit second thing is uh, you can't find any other profession which will get give you a settled life at the age of 20 or 21. Okay, you almost will get a five-figure salary, and uh, and the, and the cost of studying engineering as compared to other profession is also comparatively less. So there is something called return of investment. So you work for two or three years, uh, you will pay back all the investments, and thereafter you will be in a profit mode. Okay and you can be in a settled life very fast if you think about any other uh, profession then there should be postgraduate program then you know uh, entrances that this so generally people will get settled at 25 27 28 even 30s okay so uh, that is another point and the third point or the final point i have is uh, if you're saying you're an engineer 
uh, at that age you know you have a big respect uh, in, in the society that you know it's not bad you know uh, people really appreciate oh right okay you're working there very good so uh, i don't think that you know parents are uh, you know are not thought about it uh, and there's a large uh, you know people uh, thinking engineering is a very good option because of these reasons not because you know uh, they have not thought about it um, i am sure that people have thought about it and they found that this is a very good way uh, to invest in the in the inner generation and you know get benefited out of it so if you have a different opinion about why then uh, about engineering then you should uh, please think about these things and you know and let yourself convinced that in, you know it's one of the best profession that we have okay so let us uh, further move to the ground reality about what we have talked about uh, this is something um, to understand what is our situation okay so this is a global situation and all where we stand okay to to answer this there are some questions okay now you don't want to be afraid about because i'll not be asking you questions these are some questions you need to answer yourself okay at, at, uh, maybe at another point of time when you are you know uh, very free and you know when you have enough time and patience to think about this but the, you need to think about it okay either now or uh, uh, in a very short while okay why did i join for engineering this is something which um, you should answer okay uh, that that is a personalized answer that you know you should have you should have some reasons why you are there if you don't have reasons then you know we are in a, a big problem or you should you can uh, easily e very easily think about it in in thinking that okay what will be what will happen to me in 2030 okay where do i see myself in 2030 okay so uh, that actually makes the things which uh, easier for you to you know uh, start thinking maybe what is my life mission okay maybe position uh, people say it is position someone says it is salary generally btechs after four years they used to say salary uh, then you know it is power power pleasure uh, then what you know uh, people won't be satisfied with any of this there should be something called peace and all you know so but the, the the problem is that if you have not thought about it then it is a real problem okay having no plan is very dangerous uh, i urge you to think about it uh, and at least at this point of time okay uh, i'm not talking about whether you have got uh, uh, failed papers and all you know after you complete this paper what next okay so you should have a plan uh, uh, without doing otherwise what happens is this is a vicious cycle you know uh, someone says today there is an assignment you will be writing an assignment and next day someone says there is a series exam next week so you will be writing the series exam then someone says at the end of this uh, semester there is a university exam so you will be doing these things robotically without uh, really thinking about it okay so that is something which is uh, very difficult and you know you will be in that uh, rotating with it within that cycle you know and there will not be any out okay so unless you have specific plans or directions in which you need to go out now you will not be ejected out of the system okay so you will be in the cycle you know moving with the crowd and uh, and at the end of the day i have seen because this is the experience uh, uh, we generally see uh, for past 7 8 years that people never thought about it and the time when we think about it the the, the, the options were lost okay so uh, i urge you to really to have a plan that is very important okay second question is uh, why should a company recruit me okay this you should answer yourself okay and you should start answering this right from your first year or second year uh, uh, and you should be ready with the answer by the fourth year because in the fourth year when you are sitting for an interview in a company then you know uh, uh, this is exactly the question they will be asking okay so you need to answer them uh, with points okay so the idea is uh, you can think about it why company will recruit uh, recruit me and give me some 30000 40000 or 50000 rupees per month it's a very good guy you know he has passed out from tkm uh, is a nice chap let us give 40000 rupees per month no generally doesn't happen that way okay if they are recruiting you 
uh, you are supposed to make them at least one lakh rupees profit. If you are making one lakh rupees profit, they will give you thirty thousand or forty thousand as salary. Okay, because they are running the company for profit. So the idea is uh, that being useful to someone. So end of the day, your 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 studies and all should make you uh, make you something useful. Okay, that that transformation has to happen. Okay, our uh, our syllabus, the one which you hear in the class. Uh, the trainings that you you do the projects that we do should actually eventually transform you to some useful form so that people can use it a very uh, effective picture i i found to show you was this uh, this we are in the sheep okay now people can't make use of us but we have all the talents and everything within us but not in the right form so this transformation to an useful form is the one which should happen daily on the in the in the in your life okay so more useful you are your uh, your your salary will be uh, correspondingly big okay correspondingly big if if there are uh, multiple people like you then your you know your your exclusivity is not that much and your exclusivity is nothing but your uh, your proportional salary okay uh, for an instance you you think about you know i am the only person who can make good food okay you can cook very good food delicious food okay you can you imagine what is my salary the whole world i am the only person who can uh, cook good food my whatever i ask is my salary so being exclusive being useful to someone is the is the target at the end of the day so this you should convince a company okay so uh, so what happens is Uh, i don't know in your in your brain something has happened that you need to study for the exams you will start studying only when the exams are declared so those things are actually very very much volatile and it was long long back you know companies used to uh, recruit people with their certificates you know you show them a certificate maybe 20 years 30 years back they will say okay is a mechanical engineer or you know electrical engineer let us give him a job now they have got different levels of interviews you know selection screening process i don't call it as a selection process it is basically an elimination process if 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 100 people have applied you know they want only two people so from that 100 how do they eliminate how do they eliminate the 98 people you know that's what they do so we have companies which do six rounds of selection processes that role play you know group discussion interviews different levels of interviews then screening test tele technical test uh, you know uh, there are a lot of a uh, lot of ways in which they they try to uh, find what is what is remained in our head not that you know you have you have scored this much marks and all you know that doesn't matter that matters only when you know it's it's like an entry ticket okay, if you have 70 or 80% of the marks then you can enter then after that what all remains in your head actually makes a difference okay so uh, if you are having something called an exam oriented study please stop that and you need to have a career oriented study that you know end of the day you should realize that you should be useful to someone as an engineer and uh, to that you should study all right now the third question i have is uh, it says when will i become an engineer okay this is some question generally in your mind uh, certain students used to answer answer like so when i complete 4 years i'll become an engineer or someone will say so when i get a job as an engineer in a company then i'll become an engineer or you know but you should realize that it is not the final final thing you know that degree that you are getting makes you the engineer but the path through which you have arrived there that makes you an engineer so whatever has attached to you in the process is the one which is which makes you a good engineer or not okay maybe we think about some shortcuts okay reaching here and all but you what you are losing is what you have acquired or what being useful as an engineer that part is the one which you are you may be thinking that you are you are fooling the university or you are fooling the system and all but end of the day what happens is you will realize it in a hard way when you are in a job and all that uh, you were fooling yourself in the process okay so the answer to this question is every minute every minute of your 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 program uh, in the college you will you are becoming an engineer okay so it is a daily process okay don't think that you complete your final year and one fine morning you wake up 
as an engineer no 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 magic happens okay so uh, your aim is to for example if you are a second year student or you completed two years of a study you are supposed to be a half engineer if that is not happening then you know you should think about the way in which you are studying and you are seeing things okay so very important that you should realize uh, it is not the end getting a degree is not your 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 uh, objective but becoming an engineer is is the is the is the one which is expected out of you if you are uh, getting a degree is your objective then you will become one among the 10000 students you know who are not getting a job okay because for them there is no place okay that is a reality and that reality is because of this reason okay so try to be a uh, 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 engineer so that you know you you will see studies in that way okay so this is the ground reality now if you are sure that you are going in the right path you have a, a have a goal and based on that goal you are studying things and you really wanted to be an engineer and all then i can have i can uh, have a certain options you know that uh, probably is is viable for you otherwise it's not viable for you and uh, we call it as the career road map Uh, this is uh, something which you have prepared at uh, career guidance and placement unit based on uh, the student uh, uh, data okay what happens to our pass out students and all uh, we have made a map okay and this is how it looks like it's a little complicated and uh, maybe if you are joining from a uh, mobile and all it is very difficult to see uh, what i will do is i'll cut this one into small small units and show you what it is okay so this is called the career options now once you complete your btech uh, uh, in engineering uh, your graduation in engineering then uh, these are five options generally we see students are choosing okay i'll start with something called jobs okay students there are students who are going for jobs then there are students who are going for higher studies there are a few percent of students who are choosing social service then someone goes for research and there are a very few percent which goes for uh, their own business okay so these are uh, the options that uh, the major options in jobs we have uh, two major categories there is nothing called a core company or services company uh, what we have uh, core job or software you know generally the classification is like that core job and software it is not a classification now any more what they call is called services company and product company okay if there is a tangible product for example tata motors have got tangible products like cars different types of cars then it is a product company but tcs is generally a services company it provide doesn't give you any product but provides you services so it comes under the it comes from the same um, uh, uh, owner but it it has got two it is in two sections services can be engineering services it can be software services it can be marketing services teaching is also under service if you are getting into government jobs like you know kscb pwd and all then also it is services banks there are uh, different banks coming for engineers then also it is services so these are uh, the different areas we can land up as uh, engineers Uh, marketing also there are uh, ways where engineers need to market it it can be done by an mba because the product is a niche product and you know there is lot of uh, technical uh, things into it then engineers should market it okay but if you are a product company generally you have an on site or a factory based job or you can have a design and analysis job where you don't have direct contact with the product at all okay so these are the different areas you can land up when you do a you choose a job now higher studies uh, we have uh, civil service as civil service because i put this uh, higher study because there is lot of preparation required then we have management higher studies we have engineering higher studies engineering higher studies we have something called job oriented courses as well as subject oriented courses subject oriented course if you are joining for an mtech it is a subject oriented course mtech in uh, structural engineering so it is a subject oriented course job oriented course is something like if you are joining for a quality assurance or you are joining as a network engineer you know then that that is something specific to a job they will train you and they will not have much credits and all this will be a credit based system like beta okay 
so engineering has studies we have a large person of students going for ms okay that is also a job study uh, subject oriented course and uh, getting into foreign universities and all are uh, very viable options but your timings are uh, important uh, if supposedly if you are now you are in 2020 you can't join a course in 2021 now now your option is to join a course in 2022 okay so uh, not uh, yeah 2022 so your preparation and all uh, need to be in the right time and also you should see that there are a lot of bogus universities and all you should see the ranking and all when you are selecting uh, ms outside management programs we have pg diploma programs like uh, the iams and all which they generally give and the normal mba program but you should be careful about joining institute because there are a lot of institutes uh, you should join institute based on either your uh, cat score or uh, minimum max score and also make sure that the the college provides you good uh, placement and all okay don't just go in, uh, go and join any mba program okay civil service ias ips uh, and all irs and all we have uh, less percentage of students but ies is a very good opportunity if you wanted to get into central government jobs and all um, you need to target ies and uh, it's very sad that uh, very less students uh, from our college target this a little bit of uh, preparation with the uh, uh, gate will actually help you to do this uh, so that's a wonderful opportunity that you have i urge students to target that okay even if you are not getting ies i'm sure that you will get a very good score in gate so it's a win-win situation if you prepare for ies uh, when we say about research generally people think that is phd but uh, research as a career also we can choose uh, you can join as a research associate and things like that or we can have on uh, temporary positions like jr of junior research fellow senior research fellow and all or there is a program in iit which is called ms by research so you can directly join after your btech so it can be one one and a half years uh, you can you need to submit a thesis once you submit a thesis if you are happy with it you can go with the ms degree or if you wanted to continue you can continue as a phd program so another two two and a half years if you complete uh, within four years you will get a four or five years you will get a uh, post graduation plus phd now in our cases and all we had to do two years mtech then another four years phd so it will be six years or so so you have an advantage there so many of the iits have got this ms by research uh, this uh, remember this is different from the ms program which is there outside in outside universities okay so uh, coming back we have a few students going msw and dot getting into social service and uh, we also have students going joining uh, uh, you know taking up entrepreneurship and uh, uh, trying to help people but uh, you should be careful in this uh, you know that something like 80 85 percent of um, uh, uh, such companies started by uh, just college pass outs are a failure uh, because when you study your own company you realize that there are a lot of uh, struggles a lot of bottlenecks you may not see that excitement which was there in the starting in the later point of time and many of them lose that uh, we have cases that people, you know, uh, you know, uh, put their land and all to get loans and all that is lost. So uh, I would suggest if you wanted to really wanted to start your own company and all, uh, join some similar um, uh, companies and learn the ball game, work for three years, four years, then you come back and start. Then your success rate increases by 60, 65 percent. There are a lot of opportunities for uh, government is providing you to do that with uh, uh, interest-free loans and all so that is also a good option okay so these are the different options that you have uh, in general uh, once you complete uh, a BTEC degree I have not gone into specific uh, options of uh, into this this is a general uh, thing that we uh, we see uh, in case of engineering students all right now I have uh, uh, what I was trying to prove is that we have different uh, diversified op opportunities okay different opportunities uh, now what we need is uh, we also have options uh, other uh, uh, the jobs that we see generally are connected with the new developments like we have got uh, energy issues so how to improve the energy issues and all this is one area where you can get placed you can get job uh, pollution related effects uh, we, we need to have systems you will find that most of the automobile engineers now will be working for 
developing systems for Bharat stage six. You know, you need all the systems to be, so they'll be redesigning systems and all. So this is one big area where you have big job requirement. Then we have uh, uh, requirements regarding the population. We have large population and all. So energy, uh, water, uh, roads, transportation, housing, all areas we, we need uh, new technologies, new ideas. So that is when one area where people can pitch in. And uh, other is uh, related to lifestyle. You know that uh, we have a changed lifestyle. Everything is should be on a finger uh, tip now. So all these things actually have uh, given rise to um, different technologies and systems. So all these areas are great opportunities that we have. All right. Now, out of the different options I have shown, uh, I think that job is a wonderful option. If you get, if you get, I think you should choose that. Okay. And uh, higher studies and all, uh, don't choose something because you are not getting a job. Okay. Because uh, you will find that the number of uh, requirement for BTECs is not as same as number of requirement for MTECs or postgraduates. It will be proportionally less. That is one problem. Second is. Uh, you can have an MTEC in uh, electrical engineering, but your your MTEC cannot be in electrical engineering, but in a very subdomain like a, say power systems or you know, so it will be in a very confined area. So the number of companies in that confined area also will be less. Okay, and also you are passed out in one year, another two more years, then the market number of people in the market also has increased. You know, two more years are passed, so your competition actually increases. So make sure that but unless you have a very specific uh, industry in target where they really demand mtech and all then you go for mtech and such things otherwise if you are getting a job it is very good that you know you can change the world okay so uh, if, if this is engineering jobs as i said it is a very fast way to white collar job uh, the earning time is wonderful the growth uh, which is uh, predicted is something like 4% from 2018 to 20% that is huge. Uh, then job salary is decent salary. Uh, the average CTC for our students is generally 4 to four, 5 lakhs. Uh, that is average CTC. Uh, it can go up to 12 lakhs. Uh, minimum can be 3 lakhs. You know. So and uh, and your jump is very high. Generally the initial salary will be low. Then you know uh, then the jump uh, generally after four years five years you would have a very good salary. Okay. Job location, as I was mentioning earlier, it can be anywhere in the world, you can work. Okay. So that wise, if you see job is wonderful option and uh, there are a lot of opportunities. Okay. So we have seen what is the ground reality. We have seen what are the different options that uh, awaits us. Now about the plans. Okay. Now when we are talking about the plans, we need to know what is the company expectation about us because accordingly we should make our plans. Now, you know that uh, the knowledge is something very important. You need to have technical knowledge, your analytical skills, mathematical skills. Then you should have your uh, skills like, you know, your thinking skills, both creative thinking, critical thinking, imagination, problem solving abilities, communication, uh, working in a team, because you will see that engineering projects are big ones, very large ones. You can't uh, single handedly manage it. So generally you need to work as a team work in the team or manage the team so your leadership and everything comes into picture there and finally it is a lot of other things they look forward is honesty ethics your determination to do things loyalty flexibility like to learn things unlearn things okay so that means to add knowledge etc so the first thing the first i should put it as something it comes in the knowledge second one is something i called as attitude and the last one is something called attitude. Okay, so these three things are very important. Out of that, if uh, something is very important, you know, out of this, if you are asking which is the most important one, I should say it is attitude. Many times in our interviews, uh, people after clearing uh, tests, different rounds of tests, and all, uh, losing in the interviews is just because of their attitude. Okay, make sure that you have a right attitude when you are facing the company, and you know, and uh, and that is something which is expected out of you than your skills and your knowledge and all okay and also in this one it is uh, very important that you should have a very good cv and you know you should be able to represent that that all is 
uh, that plus points for you right now uh, this is a comparative uh, uh, score for different things that uh, that should be there in your cv okay so if uh, this is you can see that this is a study which is done in 2012 under different large number of employers uh, by chronicle of higher education so what they have mapped is internship if you are doing an internship that is something which is very preferred by the company so you have a high chance that uh, you will get a job if you have done an internship uh, in a similar field okay and then comes your a little bit of your small work or employment that you do during your college days okay so these two have got almost the same uh, uh, you know weightage and your uh, your degree your mechanical electrical you know such things also matters your volunteer experience okay many times i have seen in your cv that there is only marks okay marks and nothing else so many times you have worked with uh, some activities of nss or ist and all which you think that it is small things but i think you should mention that because that a uh, lot of people give weightage for those things okay extracurricular activities you know these this is something very uh, uh, disappointing for our students we will do only those things which is which our curriculum is demanding okay maybe doing a uh, online course okay uh, doing a mini project which is not a past arts part of your curriculum which actually helps and you know they will really appreciate that you have done that okay so this is something which you should uh, do and highlight in your cv so the relevance of the electives the subjects you have studied your cgpa comes uh, there don't think that cgp is not important it comes as an entry ticket as i mentioned earlier and also the college reputation okay so these are some of the factors which uh, company are expecting from us and you need to have a plan based on this uh, some of the companies which uh, which are uh, pioneers in our engineering sector i have put there uh, um, i think most of the major companies have put there are uh, thousands of them but these are uh, uh, totally engineering uh, service companies you know uh, uh, if uh, if you are an electronics engineer this is a very good company uh, uh, recently one of our final year student was offered a job with 12, 12 lakh ctc plus some 2 lakhs at allowances and all so this is a very good company uh, uh, this is another company which uh, this is our campus uh, it was tata switches earlier now it is nider electric uh, they used to recruit uh, uh, these are civil students can you tell me which company is this this is one of the uh, pioneer companies in civil engineering which is called spcl spcl used to visit our campus it's called shapurji palonji um, construction limited or something okay so we have adani we have mr of uh, group uh, this is a wonderful company which uh, produces a lot of things Arbor and them is their company. BSA cycles, you know, that probably will be new. This is an engineering company. Uh, uh, these are all uh, high end uh, companies operating in different parts uh, in Bangalore, Evel, Siemens, uh, Philips, uh, the wonderful companies that we have. Now, let us see what are the mass recruiters because the companies which I have shown uh, will not have large requirements. They need or two years engineer and engineers i have asked this, this this company which i have listed here needs 20000 engineers 25000 engineers if you are taking tcs and all they need 40000 engineers and so on. so that is the, the way in which they recruit every year as i am talking about every year tcs accenture infosys cognizant wipro ibm these are generally uh, majorly they are services company uh, and you have uh, overseas uh, jobs and all so if you want to go to different parts of the world this is a very good opportunity and though the initial salary is 3.54 lakh and all but your gem is very high uh, because they recruit in large numbers they don't give a high initial salary but if you grow up the ladder then the salary is very good this is the tech mahindra is the uh, software company of mahindra lnd infotech is the software division of lnd so these are wonderful companies uh, uh, there are a lot of other small small companies but these are big companies which i am talking about 
um, if you are into software and all these are some of the new jobs which you can see ar and vr um, uh, virtual reality engineer gaming engineer computer vision engineer search engineer machine learning engineer security engineer data engineer front end engineer back end engineer blockchain engineer full stock engineer nlp engineer embedded engineer these are some of the new jobs and uh, the growth in these areas are phenomenal you know if you are able to study something in excess uh, in these any of these areas then you are sure about getting a job okay now these are some of the government companies interested in uh, engineering students uh, the top companies uh, the, the top level of companies are all navarekna companies very i they, they are all recruit they used to come to campuses earlier I mean, nowadays very few are coming uh, generally they used to recruit from your gate score okay so if you have a high gate score 95% uh, gate score then they directly call for an interview uh, and you know then uh, we can get into these companies so they are all uh, engineering companies in the government sector this is indian railways which is one of the biggest employer in the world okay but if you wanted to get into this then you need to write uh, IES Indian Engineering Service. So there are a lot of opportunities for students to do that. Okay. So these are some of the government companies that you can target. All right. Now the million dollar question is how to get into these companies. Okay. So I'll be uh, uh, finishing it in another five or ten minutes maximum. So I will be presenting here uh, six ways in which you can get into a company, uh, which is not the normal way. First is called uh, we can through competitions okay you will find that all these good companies will be conducting uh, an yearly competition so basically to identify tal talents in different parts of the world if it is a multinational company it will be a competition worldwide uh, there are companies which does in within the country also okay but this information will be there only in the website so if you have a target company in your uh, mind and get into their website and see these different competitions they have. So if you are shortlisted, you are surely you will get a job, even if you are not getting the price. Okay. If you are shortlisted as uh, the, the 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 team, not that you should get the first price. Generally, the the companies will give uh, uh, jobs for all the shortlisted. It can be a team event, it can be a individual event, but that is one wonderful way to get into companies. Okay, this reputed companies. Second one is called internship leading to placement this is another wonderful opportunity uh, generally we see now uh, we have a very few uh, you know, companies like ey a lot of companies who doesn't come uh, in the final year but in the third year so they will come and take the third year give them one year of internship and then the final year they give them the job offer okay so maybe 100 students they will take for internship 60 70 or they may be giving the job based on your performance but uh, the internship, you know, you need to contact them. There should be people uh, inside knowing because there will be a lot of requests coming from different colleges and all. So these contacts, our alumni contacts and all really help you to get uh, internships. Third thing is called gate-based hiring, which I have mentioned. Uh, these many companies, including private companies now don't conduct any uh, written test. Uh, they used to take uh, students from the gate score and preparing as a team really helps one day you will be uh, your morale will be little less and someone else will say no no we should uh, prepare and all so that is one strategy you can uh, take in case of gate uh, there are also approaches like all india test you know uh, earlier the tcs and other companies used to come to campuses nowadays they used to conduct an all india level test which you need to appear so irrespective of which campus you are and which uh, part of the world you are you can take part in this test and uh, get selected okay but the practice the text will be really difficult and also the time will be another factor so unless you practice and make it uh, uh, um, uh, fast you know you will not be able to clear them and uh, the next option that we have is campus interviews which is uh, limited because of as i said uh, mentioned these core companies may not be visiting campuses because they don't have that sort of a vacancy okay if they have a big plan coming they have they need large number of engineers and all then they may go for the campus otherwise uh, it is through these methods or direct uh, uh, selection that they take 
but if it is software companies and all who require people in large quantities this campus interviews are options okay and the final one is called experience hiring many companies uh, uh, niche companies will own take uh, uh, fresh people so if that case then you need to work in similar industry for one or two years then you apply then only you get into such companies you know? and there is something called referral system also is another method that if you have if you have someone known in the company then they can refer you and then you will get an interview and uh, based on that you will be selected so that is another method in which you can get into company so these are five six methods that uh, uh, you can target all right but what matters end of the day is you need to uh, be useful to someone okay so there is no shortcut in it uh, uh, you should say that you know I, I can do these things for you i can design i can um, uh, calculate i can maintain these things so that actually matters and second thing what matters is how we can convince that in the interview or in your cv and all okay or in your selection processes screening processes so these two things matters whatever the method is now uh, to complete to uh, wind it up so uh, successful career is not only money and all there are a lot of things which comes together so if you are in the right job then you will be very peaceful and all then you know uh, that you know these things should come up your workplace where you work your interest your satisfaction all these things uh, should come together uh, then only you will be in the right place okay now what generally happens is uh, there is a ladder analogy you know in which what you say is people used to put the ladder somewhere climb up and when you reach here you will find that it is somewhere here you need to go okay so that is not possible so you if you need to go you need to place your ladder here okay so the the planning should be from top to downwards it can't be you put somewhere and you climb up and you find that you are not in the right place so generally that happens and you know you should plan it from top to down so that you will be in the right so you need to have a career goal and you need to find out what are the steps in uh, doing that and uh, slowly one by one you should climb up the ladder all right so uh, there should be uh, a plan based on where you wanted to go and uh, accomplish each plan and the timings are very important and finally what i've seen this is from my experience uh, people used to do all these things but end of the day there is something called perseverance okay so as uh, our honorable president old president says dream is not something which you see when you are sleeping but dream is something which doesn't make you sleep so unless you have that sort of a passion uh, end of the day you know it is very difficult because there are a lot of uh, pros and cons uh, can happen in the path so you have that grit that you really want that then you are in the right path okay so actions are important uh, whatever i say is not important at the end of the day you need to you need to uh, move this okay there should be some action from uh, and then if it is the right time to start acting okay so uh, you need to uh, land up in the shore where you wanted to be okay so and it is no one else but you who decides that okay so it is end of the day it is a responsibility uh, we are here to uh, guide you and tell you the path but what doesn't really happen is that your action doesn't happen so i i uh, wish that uh, you people will start acting on the plan that you have and all the best uh, thank you for attention and i'll be happy to take some questions sorry that i took another 4 minutes uh, sorry thank you thank you so much sir i'm sure we all took away some valuable facts from your session it was indeed a pleasure to have you with us today now uh, if anyone has any questions please feel free to share because what was some you know thought so it would be nice uh, 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 on it, on it, and uh, you know, come back uh, uh, because they should self and uh, then you know work upon that okay because uh, uh, i'll be available at any time um, if you have questions i'll be happy to answer that uh, if possible or i'll try to get the answers so uh, i think i have given them enough uh, 
things to think about uh, maybe uh, uh, they are little worried i don't know but my aim was to boost their uh, morale and you know think that it's a bright future there and uh, uh, and don't think other way and you know and uh, uh, i'll be happy to get inputs from you uh, uh, to uh, make it further better sir sir, sir yes sir yes sir what's the current scope of data analysis engineering uh you know that is something which i should say is the is the thing now if you do anything with data because now people consider data as money okay and uh, you will see that there are a lot of platforms where uh, if people are willing to share their data then you know companies are ready to give money okay and this data related analytics data mining uh, converting data into some useful information even if you know you think about me going to a restaurant daily you know so that information is a useful information for other sets of uh, restaurants okay so data is uh, considered as a very useful or you know something like money that it is very valid so that is something called a happening field and uh, there are certain courses that you can attend uh, uh on this and uh, and you know if you are uh, uh, considering this as a uh, as an option that's a very good thing uh, as i mentioned in one of the graphs uh, that is uh, having more than you know 120% growth hello hello sir this for the uh, yes sir um, you said that uh, in an interview what matters the most is the uh, attitude so in social media and all we are seeing this uh, interview mock interview uh, videos and also uh, that gave us a impression of what attitude we need in an interview but i don't think that's exactly correct uh, so so what exactly is the interviewer uh, looking for uh, in a student so what attitude uh, do, do you mean uh, i'll not be uh, the right person to answer you that question because uh, you will be the right person you know whenever you wanted to under, attend an interview uh, you should put yourself as an interviewer okay you should think from the company point of view that okay if i am saying this will it be good for the company okay how does it uh, how they, they do they take it okay uh, generally what happens is um, uh, in the interview for a ex company is coming you know then they will be asking about you okay asking you that you know what do you know about our company then uh, then if you are not knowing anything then it it reflects that uh, you are not very much interested in the company okay so uh, doing a background work about the company uh, what are their uh, many companies have got a lot of values okay they that will be mentioned in their website so accordingly uh, you need to uh, you know uh, frame answers that's what which is expected out of you so maybe uh, uh, this this attitude part can be reflected in the way in which you walk or the way in which you even dress okay or the way in which you do yourself okay uh, there can be companies where you know you come in a short pants uh, without combing your hair and you know with a pair of jeans and uh, t-shirts and all there there are companies which is acceptable for it, but they are very less okay many times uh, the the person who is coming and interviewing try to see you as one of their colleague and they try to visualize okay this guy doing that job whether it's good or when he is presented to a client how the client feels so your appearance the way in which happens and the interviews can be all different types there can be stress interviews Uh, there can be deep uh, technical interviews so the objective of the interviewer makes a lot of difference in the way in which you need to respond certain uh, interviews you know people try to make you angry saying that whatever your accreditation is nothing any, any tom dick and harry can have it you know then you know how do you respond and all they wanted to hear okay so if you are losing your temper there then you know then it is something very you know serious or if it's a deep technical interview uh people are trying to understand how much deep uh, knowledge you have 
then they may ask you something and you know trying to figure out whether you have uh, really understood the concept so if you are falsely arguing with them or you know uh, uh, then you know that or or they put in situation that you know you need to ask them find out so uh, as you are rightly saying generally we get confused but we need to go by the uh, the topic as i said actually what this comes okay what is the general you can ask for this that you know what sort of an interview generally these people have we have one company is called soho uh, is a lot of uh, packages for salary uh, just to have this interview just take them take them for a walk through the campus talk to them take them for a tea outside our uh, college to carry coat to one of the shops there talk to them so it varies so your understanding of the company the reason we to do things uh, will make you reverse uh, uh, in the right hope i have answered for the thank you sir thank you hello sir hello savio yes uh, sir can you talk more about the ies examinations what are the opportunities and the jobs we can get from that examination yeah very good question uh, savio then uh, you know you uh, think about all major engineering positions in india all major engineering positions that india government has that is all filled by ies okay uh, 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 you have heard about upsc union public service commission you know all those vacancies are filled through your ies uh, you can be in central pwd or based on different branches uh, you need to take up this exam you need to choose your electrical you know or computer science or mechanical you know based on that it is more like uh, gate uh, the syllabus and all will be given so you need to prepare and whatever you prepare you need to prepare in deep okay maybe gate is not that deep this is really deep and uh, uh, and you know uh, the preparation of gate is sufficient but plus you need to do you know gate is more like a little spread out one but here you need to solve problems and you know your deep understanding of the subjects really help so if you are starting this study your basic subjects from your fundamental subjects if you are mechanical i can tell you that heat transfer heat thermodynamics fluid mechanics you know all theory of machines all those basic subjects if you start studying from your third year and by the final year i think you can write we have students who have cleared that or plus one year if you spent then surely you will get okay it is unlike ies or ips that tough but it is little tough um, uh, tougher than gate and all but it's a very good option Uh, there are a lot of opportunities every year the vacancies changes and uh, depending on that you will be assigned uh, you can choose some department and based on that you will be assigned the jobs good that you have asked because it is an, something like an untapped area yes kevin um, so my doubt is like is it a good idea to change the career after passing out of btech like i have seen many students who are doing um, mechanical engineering doing some other job after clearing btech such as they may go for banking or some other job so is it a good idea yeah it it depends upon uh, uh, what you want in life kevin uh, as i said uh, luckily engineering is a basic degree for many professions i know people working as sound engineers after btech uh, they work as sound engineer you know there are students uh, you know most iitians will go and work as financial analyst like uh, they used to tell wealthy people where to invest their money in another 5 years which field is to grow so all this forecasting and all is being done by engineers okay so uh, there are people getting into banking there are people getting into um, uh, companies like deloitte or you know this ey and all they are into Uh, financial things so it depends upon uh, uh, what is that you want in life okay uh, there is no harm in going but your fundamental knowledge is uh, knowledge that you have acquired in the process actually helps you that is important hope i have that's what you asked thank you sir thank you hello sir <coughs> yes abhishek yes good good evening sir 
Good evening. So recently I came across some of the job giving uh, websites like um, one of the examples is that uh, monster.com like that something. So Now, uh, I heard it from uh, yes, I heard it from a webinar or something. Sir, sir it said that if we give uh, our profile and resume in that and uh, uh, the company sort out the cream candidate from it and they rec recruit in their company. So how much is the possibility that you get a job from such websites, sir? Okay. Uh, thank you, Abhishek, for bringing that up. I actually forgot to mention about it. Uh, there are a large number of such job portals available. Okay. Some are reputed, some are not. Okay. Some used to take money and uh, uh, there are a lot of frauds happening there. Uh, students used to lose money. Some are uh, very genuine ones. Okay. The ones which you have mentioned are all very popular ones like most uh, um, this uh, nowcarry.com. I think government is planning something like that. Uh, what happens, I'll tell you, these companies when they have uh, uh, requirements, uh, maybe two or three or engineer, five engineers they require, they may not go for a all India level uh, newspaper advertisement or, you know, they maximum put it in their website. So we know that we hardly get into company websites and search for jobs. So uh, this becomes a very handy tool for such companies to inform them. So they have a regular way of, uh, if you register in that, you will get emails. The, 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 the clients, those who are registering, will get uh, regular emails or updates from these companies and uh, you will be able to know about these things. But uh, uh, majorly these, uh, if you get into that uh, portal, you can see that majorly they are uh, services jobs. Uh, core jobs are, uh, are, are, are uh, comparatively less in that, but uh, there can be, okay, but there can be and it is no bad in you know, uploading your CV and uh, registering in that sites if money is not lost, okay. So you can, you can see about the various uh, call flows and things like that, uh, but uh, if they are asking for money and uh, then you should be careful. Uh, there can be paid services by these companies, which is uh, authentic, but uh, but there can be other way also. So be careful in doing that. Uh, 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 but that is good. Okay, that is good. And there are something called employment news, uh, which comes out. Lengile Malayalathile Thoril Vartha, Thoril Vidi. There are such things which comes uh, by weekly or every week. So there, uh, these things will be mentioned. So these are the uh, places where you can see uh, jobs of different companies in one place. All right. Hope I have answered your question. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So I think it is time. We have close to 8.20. Uh, you can write to me. You have my email ID and all. So uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you yeah. for being here. Thank you all of you again for virtually gathering here. Today's session has come to an end. Have a good day. You may now disperse.